Hello friends! Welcome back to our Near Replicant Let's Play. I believe today we will be heading to Facade and wrap, starting to wrap up uh, Route B. So pretty quick, only a couple episodes. Once I finish my secret dish, I'm going to feed it to Nier. Then he'll see how helpful I can be. Hmm. What you got for us, Popola? Shades on the coast, the ferryman dead. You've had quite the rough trip. Ah, yes, wrapping that up that. ferryman used to tell me stories of the sequence. epic quarrels he had with his wife. He found the whole thing quite amusing. He loved her, though. He loved her with all that he was. I'm very sad to hear that he's gone. Still, you made it back safe, and I'm glad for that. Have you any new information about the key to the Shadow Lord's castle? I'm still working on the decryption, but I'm afraid progress has stalled. Loyal Cerberus might refer to a dog, but I've never seen anything that would fit the bill. It must be pretty complicated if even you can't decode it. Well, you're our last hope, so... I will. By the way, I was walking by your house earlier and I noticed you had some mail. You might want to check it out. Thanks. I'll do that. I do want to know... Oh, one oh. last... Since the ferryman was missing work, I arranged for someone else to handle the job. I'll make sure they know to let you use the boat as before. Gotcha. Great. Uh, I do want to know... Even without those we have lost, the world relentlessly continues to turn. Sure does, Vice. Who is arranging this quest of us finding the key fragments? Like, it's pretty strange. Also, why is stuff so hyper-specific? Like, why does the weird wolf shade have a key? Why was there one by the with the little child robot? Okay, we're invited to a wedding. Yay! He's getting married. Uh, does this old book good to see a boy become a man? Probably not a good idea to turn down a wedding invitation from a king. Let's go to facade. Does that kind of just imply that Nier doesn't really want to go? I guess he doesn't necessarily seem like a wedding person, although I don't know. I could see this dude in a wedding party. Got a letter from Meal. He said Nier's super strong and really, really cool. I bet he cleans up nice in a tux. I've got so many berries, and I have actually no idea what to do with them. I honestly don't know what to do with most of the things we picked up. Okay, here we go. What's up with the wolves? They turned our beautiful forests into this. No, my brother. We cannot defeat these humans in direct combat. Have faith in me. I know we they can learn to live alongside others. I know it well. The time scale in this game is so strange. Like, I talked about that last time, or in one of the, I think in the Junk Heap episodes, like, there's a bunch of child shades in here, despite the fact that, like, we are 1300 years out of, like, the time of humans, because in the year 2054, like, the beginning of the game, there are shades, like, they've begun turning people into shades. Does it not strike you as curious to find wolves in the desert? Should it? They normally live in forests, yes. Deserts would seem to hold little sustenance for them. Well, we can certainly guess what they've been eating. Yeah. Um. It's like it's. Feels like it's just kind of there for sadness that there's like 1,300 year old children that are still childlike. I mean, I guess like I can buy, I can buy that like a kind of a um, 
they like stop developing at a certain point maybe but the thing with the wolves is like doubly weird like this is not recently a desert right like this is a very much a desert community it seems i guess i don't know that for sure but it, this this doesn't happen overnight so I would think, and I don't know, it just seems strange that the wolves have, are still hanging around. Okay, we need to go here to get the treasure map. Hi there. Do you carry axles and paddle boards? I'm afraid I'm out of stock, but I could make them if you bring me iron ore and logs. So how I think 10 of each should suffice. I'll be back in a bit. Water wheels are great, but they're a pain in the butt to maintain. In the past, humans harnessed different methods to provide energy. Like what? One such method was achieved through the intricate compounding of iron and fire. Wow! What did they do with that? Oh, a great many things. It could be used to power large iron crates called trains, or illuminate whole cities against the dark of night. Oh. Yeah, no thanks. Why not? Who wants to move a big iron crate? And how am I supposed to sleep if it's all bright outside? Well, I suppose if you wish to look at it that way... Besides, my life is lots of fun already! If more people were like you, Emil, this world might not be half bad. <laughs> hey, can you fix damaged books? Even time and the proper materials, sure. And what would those materials be? To restore the book, I'll need three drops of machine oil, three eggplants, and three goat hides. Do I have that? Okay. Um, let's see. Quests. Uh, incomplete quests? Damaged map. Okay, we need two goat hides and three eggplants. I'm guessing we can buy the eggplants. I'm hoping we can buy the eggplants, and then we need two goat hide. Okay. I think another thing, so the wolf was saying like, um, you know, I know that they can learn to live alongside the others like this. So this this um, society is the result of um, like long term exploitation of the environment um, and like humans not knowing just doing bad, I guess. Uh, and I think that's interesting because it kind of stands in contrast to the fact that this is the one town that Kaine and Emil can come in. So, like, of all the people we meet, these are actually, like, the most accepting and kind of generous people, in a way. Maybe not. Maybe it's just because they're all in our rules. I'm not going to worry about it too hard. Excuse me, are you looking for work, by the way? Um, no. Sorry. I got other stuff to do, dude. Although I might have to do that quest later. Hmm. Oh, it's you! It's been so long. We hear your days of bachelorhood are coming to a close, King. Congrats. Forgive my prime, but we are all eager to know the identity of your lucky bride. Oh yes, how rude of me. How nice to see you again. Hold on. Fira? That's right. You have grown into a fine example of womanhood. I'm sure you will make a splendid queen. Kaine's gonna want to see this. <laughs> Indeed. <laughs> but I am truly glad to see you all. Did you know that my bride threatened to boycott the ceremony if you did not come? Ah, and you must be a meal. Pleased to make your acquaintance, your royalness. Congratulations on your wedding. Hack. Thank you. Um, I'm sorry Kaine's not here, but... Let me guess, she's outside, right? What nonsense. She knows she's welcome here. And now I insist that you stay with me tonight as honored guests of the royal family. How could we refuse? Thank <laughs> you. 
Hurry, one of our brothers is caught in a human trap. Why do they hunt us? Bunch of flea-ridden curs. Can't let be letting them spoil the king's wedding, eh? Oh, jeez. Well, I take back everything I said, I guess. Humans suck. Night before the wedding. To think they even have rules governing the timing and water temperature of a bath. What's it to you? You don't even take baths. Kane? What is the matter? I don't like this. Weddings are festive occasions, you know? Should I even be here? We were invited here by the king, remember? Sure, but what about everybody else? This city isn't like our villages. It's all about the rules here. And since there isn't a specific rule about you, I honestly think they won't give a crap. Yeah, maybe. Will you at least procure a new set of lingerie for the festivities? Some spring colors, perhaps? Keep talking, book. I guess in a sense, like, this place is not specifically better than a lot of other places that we visited. It's just that our cast of characters exist outside of the rules and therefore, like, aren't subject to the same stressors that a lot of the people here would be. Like, I... Kaine is welcome here and Emil's welcome here, but I imagine if they actually wanted to, like, move into the city, it, things would be much harder for them. Oh. Maybe not. What's I don't up? know. Just having trouble getting to sleep. Something bothering you? No, the opposite, in fact. I'm just so excited about the wedding. I bet it's gonna have streamers and dancing, and I'm sorta of jealous. You'll find a nice bride someday, Emil. Huh? Oh, right. Uh, we're... <laughs> hmm. You must be tired indeed if you misunderstood that simple social nicety. Exactly it. Liu Teta Weta. Harvest was weak again this year, and my people are beginning to go hungry. Also, our quarrel with the wolves has taken a turn for the worse. The duties of a king are overwhelming. In truth, I feel somewhat guilty about holding a festival to celebrate my wedding. Everyone needs to blow off steam and celebrate once in a while. Indeed, your people have earned a moment of rest and respite. I guess that's true. Plus, you want to make Fira happy, right? Anyway, life is better when you have someone to fight for. <laughs> that's not written in the rules, but perhaps it should be. Someone to fight for. Yes, I like the thought of that. This is a really pretty shot, but I guess when you think about it, when you think that this all used to be like forest land and the harvest is getting worse, it seems like a uh, facade is sort of on the way out, huh? Like eventually these people are going to have to move. Probably not too long. Jeez. Oh, gosh. Man, I'm gonna have to go in and put another warning in this one about canine death, I think. This is rough. Be strong, young one. Fight!
What have we done to earn such wrath? You are right, my brothers. We move tonight. The humans will pay for what they have done. Day of the wedding. Aw, weddings are the best. There's flowers everywhere. Everyone's happy. It's just great. I'm kind of jealous. Aren't you jealous, Kaine? Mm. Oh, come on. Thus, in front of these beloved guests, as per Rule 904, I hereby request that you seal your union with a kiss. This sort of thing is always hard for me. Coming. Run. No, why did you protect me? Vera, say something. Enough, my husband. These people are nervous. Never mind that. Vera, you're... Thank you. They're going to be alright. Thank you for making someone like me your bride. Vera, no, don't leave. Vera, Vera, come back. She is gone, my liege. A prouder, more splendid queen there will never be. Your life had just begun. You came from the outside. Your existence was hard. But you were finally going to be happy. We were going to travel, to see new things. To be together. We are going to be together forever. We promised each other. All men, take arms! The wolves die tonight! I would rethink this course of action, King. Ahead lies a battle you cannot win. My liege, we mustn't. Then I go myself. You can't, my lord. 
They must die. Kill the wolves. Kill them all. The queen would very much frown upon this course of action. You are the king and leader of the masked people. Your duty is to your people and their homes. While the threat of the wolves looms large, we must first solidify Fassad's defenses. I beg of you, do not bring shame to the queen's memories, as a ruler or a husband. The king's grief is strong. I doubt he will stand down at this point. Yeah. I'm guessing he'll run off to take on the wolves any time now. Will we let him go by himself? Of course not. Hell, I hate the wolves too. Then we must prepare for the fight. It will not be an easy one. I know. You know, the nice thing about Nier is that he has enough hatred inside himself to get in on anyone else's conflict. You want to kill robots? He'll hate robots. You want to kill wolves? He can hate wolves. He's very versatile that way. A great friend. Are you ready for battle? Yes. Yeah. Time to avenge Fira. Fira Yarir. Fira is not the only victim here. These damnable wolves continue to claim the lives of many people. I will not allow them to suffer anymore. As their king, I must take a stand. And if the rules say I can't, then damn the rules. The wolves who attacked were only a fraction of the pack. How will you fight them all? I will not be defeated. And count us in. That is too much for me to ask. We're not doing it for you, dumbass. It's for Fira. Kaine, you can't speak to a king like that. If this is indeed the plan, then let us make haste. We can ill afford another tragedy. Farewell. Thank you, my friends. Kaizomu. Where are you going, my liege? To strike the wolves, the city is yours. My liege, that it was a violation of multiple rules. Did those rules keep Fira from dying? No, my lord. What did Fira ever do? She was so close to knowing happiness, and then she had it snatched away from her. Yes, my lord. Was it Fira's fault that she was so frail? No, my lord. Then get out of my way. I cannot, my lord. You... You are behaving like a fool. Clearly, you are still young. How dare you? Queen Fira was a kind and gentle woman. All in our city loved her, did they not? Hear me, men of the mask, who is our leader? The King of Facade. And who is our king's beloved? Queen Fira! Who stained the court with the blood of the queen? The wolves did! And who are the ones that will vanquish the wolves? The men of the mask! Sire, I request permission to join these men in battle. I apologize it took me time to obtain the blessing of every citizen for the war. You visited all of them? I did, my liege. There are rules about this sort of thing, after all. Rules. Do not exist to bind you. They exist so that you may know your freedoms. I, yes, I understand now. My liege, you are worthy successor to your father. You. A foolish king attracts a foolish people. Do not forget this. You are a foolish people indeed to sacrifice so much for an idiot like myself.
Is this all that remain? The humans will be upon us shortly. We can make our escape if we move now. I hear you, my brothers, and I share your desire to die with honor. Your resolve is strong, and your pact think pack thinks you. For the lives of our comrades, for the pride of our pack, death to the invaders. This is their den. I'm sorry to ask so much of you. Forget it. It's for Fira. Let's move. For the Queen. appear to be targeting the king. Please be careful, my liege. We must protect the king and his advisors. Such dogged, unwavering defiance. Why do these beasts hold so much rage? I wonder, Vice, I wonder. The smaller wolves are not infected with shades. But as for the leader, if even one shade is here, then I have to kill all of them. Huh. Come, wolves, taste the sting of our blades. We can never forgive you, humans. There shall never be peace between us. Protect the king at all costs! Beast, die. We can't out double peace as long as you draw breath. Those were my very words, human. This is for my people, and our fallen, and for Fira. What have we done to deserve such a fate? Man, that's a bummer. It makes it even more of a bummer that it's basically just a big dog. I'm not even that much of an animal person, but... Grandfather. Skitsuchi Takai. 
She was placed into indentured servitude at a young age and forbidden to speak. In that harsh environment with no family, she toiled day after day. Oh, I forgot about this. Yeah, the masked people, that's a, that's a pretty significant knock against them if the wolf stuff wasn't. And just as her future was looking bright... I believe bright, that young Fira was perfectly content with the life she had. Cool. She was? Of course. Does this not sound like what she would say to you? She was terribly proud of her king. And now you must do all you can to honor her memory. I'm sorry, I need to be alone right now. The king isn't allowed to shed tears in front of others. Is that another infernal rule? People of the mask live and die by the rules. Sometimes we even break them. Isn't that right, Fira? The poor king. This is all Shade's fault. Okay, well. That was a bummer. This is the last of them. Now we can find the Shadow Lord. And Yona. We certainly can. Hold on, Yona. I'm almost there. Okay. So before we do that, we do need to go back to Facade and get a side quest there. You know... At the back half of the game, I, I... We should return to Popola and see if she has any final words Yeah, I for know. Us. I've got stu stuff to do, bud. Um... I was thinking about how I said at the beginning of this Let's Play that this game is a lot about community, and then I kind of switched focus... to other things. Okay, there's supposed to be a guard who has a quest. Sure. Oh, no thank you. Maybe it's that one back by the castle, but I thought it was by the gate. Maybe it's... Oh, here we go. Great number of people gone missing the sandstorm. Um, except this one, Nightmares and Dust. I don't think that's right. Excuse me, sir, I have an urgent request. We've received word that bandits are breaking into the Baron Temple. However, the rules prevent us from entering the temple and dispatching the intruders. Therefore, we would like you to eliminate the thieves in our stead. Okay. Sounds like my kind of job. Please be careful, it's bad enough that bandits are in a most sacred place. If they were to touch the seal. Legend tells of a powerful shade that has been locked away in a section of the temple. If they stumble across it during the search for treasure. Mm, yes, that would be bad. And for the bandits as well. Let's go. Okay. Um, but yeah, this has me thinking about... <sighs> what a headache. Goodness. What is... We have not the time to worry about random bandits. I need the Look, sword. The is you don't really understand what to the masked people. Then perhaps they should go inside and protect it themselves. Quit being difficult, Vice. You know there are rules about that. And thus, my headache. Stop bitching and get moving. Nier is so... strangely respectful of the masked people in a way that is almost a little bit funny to me. Um... But, uh, like, if I think of the section of the game in terms of what I was talking about when I first started playing, of, like, this being a game about community, and the ways in which that can be really insular, I do feel like, um... Uh, before, like, with the, uh, Shade and the robot at the junk heap and stuff, like, it really feels like, and with, like, all the bad stuff that humanity has done to set all of this stuff in motion, um, it feels like the, like, Yokotaro, the author, or the creative director, uh, who wrote a lot of this stuff, is just really doesn't like, oh no, I'm killing more wolves, I should leave them be. Uh, like, really has a bleak view of humanity. Oh no, I'm sorry. 
um, and just in general thinks that humans are bad. But there's like, there are like good things, like there are likable people, like that wolf had a good parent, I suppose. Someone's in front of the temple. Help! Help! You must be one of the bandits. What happened? There's a huge shade inside. We were just looking for Trish. I mean, uh, I made it out, but my fellow thief, uh, I mean, friends are still in there. It seems the worst case scenario has come to pass. Screw these guys. They made their bed, let them shit in it. If that shade is as big as they claim, it's too dangerous to let it live. Let's go in and take care of it. But the, the vibe that I end up kind of getting off of this is that, like, the thinking with, like, the community thing as a theme is less that just, like, humans are bad. It's, like, humans form these communities and then are, like, the cube, people can be good within a range. Like, you can be good to your friends or your community. But there's a point at which you are no longer able to extend your empathy, like, beyond a certain circle, which is kind of a true thing. Like, we can't have true empathy for everybody in the world. We would break down. Um, oh my gosh, I have to redo all of this stuff? And I can't stand still. Okay. Um, so I guess maybe this wants to be about what happens when like, you reach the limits of your circle of empathy, and one community, which can be, like, really kind inwardly, like, on itself, doesn't know how to rationalize an outside force. So just cannot, like, the humans cannot deal with the shades, the people of the mass cannot deal with the wolves, like, they just don't, are not able to extend their empathy out that far. Despite the fact that, like, within their own community, there's, like, they are really good people. I don't know what to make of that. That's just kind of like my beginning percolating thoughts on the subject, but that's like what this quest line kind of gives me as a thought. Okay, we can't run here. Okay, well. Just not gonna move, I guess. We are the master of the trials. You know, props to the bandits for committing themselves to robbing this place so hard that they bothered to finish all of these trials. I have no idea where the shade is at. Is it marked on my map by chance? Of course not. I'm just assuming it's in like the boss room? No. Okay. Am I really gonna have to go through and like do all the trial rooms again? Because that would be a wild thing for you to ask of me, game. I really don't remember doing this side quest at all in the original, so that's kind of interesting, I guess. So we cannot dodge here. Okay, and then you just kind of come out swinging. Seems a little cheap, but fine. Ooh, big hit. Big hit. Oh, this, I guess, would be a good time for me to have uh, the block button that I removed. Ooh, we got the UI. Now we can play the game. I really don't know which rooms I need to complete. I guess I'm just kind of doing all of them. Seems like I shouldn't have to. Is it like just right back at the beginning and I'm just a fool? Oh, whoops. That one was a trap. <laughs> oh, great. Covered in sand. 
Diving in sand is an excellent way to lose health. Do try to be more careful, hmm? That's a fair point, Vice. No blades. It's no problem, I'm basically shooting everything with magic anyway. A lot of words in here. Alright, man, we are so powerful. These enemies don't stand a chance. The difference, actually, between the first playthrough and then coming back here through all these areas a second time is pretty wild. Like, my experience of fighting the first few bosses was really just, like, tanking my way through the fights by using a million healing items. And I have hardly used any in the entire second run. Like, the just handful of level difference between, like, 25 and 29 makes seemingly a huge difference. No magic? Oh no. That's my whole thing. Oh, never mind. You're gonna die in like three hits. I think we're fine. Oh, you've got a helmet. That's weird. Hey, could you guys, um, get hit with my spear, please? Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate it. Okay, so that was an elaborate machine. Emil, if I could get a heal, that would be cool. I'd love to not embarrass myself by immediately using an item after I said I haven't had to use items. I would just, if you could do me a solid and not embarrass me on this Let's Play, thanks. I'm just kidding. It's fine. I need to use these salves so that I can pick up more. There's gonna be a shade in the first room and I just missed it. <laughs> Okay, no... Ah, perfect. I never used the block anyway. Joke's on you. I don't even have it assigned to a button. Okay. That one's done. You know, I'm feeling it now. Give me all the trials. I'll eat them up like candy. I'm a master of rules. Near the board gamer. There's no rule I can't manipulate. Let's grab this one we missed at the beginning. And you can't jump here. Oh, I didn't notice, like, they do seem to be different trials. There haven't been any of those platforming ones that there were before, where I had to, like, get around turrets. Okay, am I the master of trials yet? I think that's all of them. I 
It honestly didn't even occur to me that you could come back to this temple. I guess it's fun to have an excuse to, since they reuse so many other areas in the back God, half of the game. Sand in your clothes is the worst. It makes one want to enjoy a bath for certain. Vice, can you even take baths? Yes. Huh. Huh. Okay then. Okay. I'm telling you, we gotta move into that rooftop apartment at the Lost Shrine. Got that bathtub and everything. It would be a real luxury. I don't think I've done this one. Oh no, did I speak too soon? Is this gonna be a platformy thing? Actions prohibited in this room. Time for getting monkey. I have no idea what that means. Does that just mean I only have a certain... Like, I have to clear this boss in a certain amount of time? Is this the shade? Is this the thing that I came here to fight? It feels stronger than everything else, so that would make sense. I should heal. I can't wait on a meal. I'm just gonna embarrass myself. He got Paho! Ooh, big hit, okay. Complex machine, thank you. This ain't your classic lever or pulley. This is a complex machine, not a simple one. Man, I thought of that joke and then I had to say it, but I'm really embarrassed about it. This must be the shade that was sealed away. That was intense. No wonder they sealed it. Still, it was no match for our combined might. True enough. Let's grab the surviving bandit and take him back to facade. I do wonder what time for getting monkey is. Like if I just took too long, would it not have worked? I'm getting out of here before those guys get back. Oh, uh -huh. I'm afraid you came up with that brilliant scheme a little too late. Ah, oh, damn it! You're under arrest. Oh, you're gonna fight us? We just killed the shade that murdered all your friends. I wouldn't if I were you. Shut up, you! For real? <laughs> I'll get you. I'll get you for this. Shut the hell up before I tear off your arms, ram a stick up your ass, and turn you into a kebab. <laughs> Jeez, Kaine. Keep her away from me. You were able to restrain the hula that you were able to restrain the hooligan with words alone is a testament to your vulgar speech and vile character. I don't know why that didn't get read. Cram it up your index book. If you guys are done snarking at each other, let's tie this guy up and get back already. Oh, weird. Did they just forget to record those lines? Huh. They sentenced the bandit to ten years in prison. The seal was open when we got there, but we defeated the shade. Thank you. I knew you were up to the task. The king sends this payment with his compliments. 20,000 gold. Okay. Oh, and I got an achievement. Jack of all trades. Presumably for completing quests. Let's save real quick. And then the actual thing that we need to do here. Uh, so that's a prerequisite quest. For the actual quest that we want, which is going to be given to us by the king, I believe. If this guide that I'm looking at right now is to be believed. And I believe it. TheGamer.com has never let me down. Hmm, what do you sell? Um, wolf hide, clay, 
crystal amber wool. No, thank you. Wow, there's a lot of side quests around here, and I'm just not going to do any of them. Sorry, folks. We got a lot more game to play, so... I promised you at the beginning that this would not be a complete playthrough. Here he is, our pal. Mm. Oh, what are we going to do? What's wrong? Thanks to those thieves who unlocked the seal, the Baron Temple is crawling with shades. We can't just ignore them, but they were sealed for a reason. They're very strong. I just killed a bunch of shades, disturbing the sleep of kings. We'll take care of it. Rest easy, good king. We are quite used to this manner of thing by now. I wish we could help you for a change. Okay, what do I actually have to do? Um, go to the Baron Temple, presumably, and... Let's see, incomplete quests. Give us ask you clear all the shades from the Baron Temple. Am I just gonna have to go do all those rooms again? Come on, folks. But at least now we get to explore up top. Oh, I guess maybe we already could have. Hmm. It is fun to be on the tops of things. Look at that view. I feel like there should be an item here. Let me steal from someone. Let me sneak into their house. Zeruganza Kisaki Tatori Serushiza Sakotoi Oh, weird. With the wolves gone, there's still the threat of shades, but we should avoid the excessive hunting of shades. We know well the punishment for such an act. Huh. Is that, like, you all learned your lesson from hunting the wolves that they retaliated? Or is there some kind of weird backwards system where you could hunt the wolves, but you couldn't hunt the shades? Maybe that's, like, a taboo because they're it's like some kind of lingering memory that they are actually humans. Thinking about, like, so Devola and Popola are androids, and they're in charge of our village. And it seems like they kind of, like, Popola runs things as mayor, which kind of makes sense, because that means she's, like, controlling things for the true humans, the Shades, and doing their work and making sure that society runs as it's supposed to. Is there something like that happening for the other cultures that we see? Uh, I was just... I recalled Emile's mansion and the butler there, and how he was like super creepy and mechanical, and I, it never occurred to me before, but he's probably an android, right? Like, like Devil and Popola. Which would make a lot of sense. Maybe he's like an older model. Ha! Older, because he's like an old butler. Um, and so he's just like more stiff. Or maybe he's in a worse state of repair because he's just been hanging out. Hi, Emil. How are you? Uh, hanging out at that mansion for so long. Okay, it feels like I've already done most of this, which is good. I'm glad it saves my progress. I was not gonna lie, a little nervous that I was just gonna have to go do all of this again. Okay, these are still open. This one, so that's fine. I think we've done basically all of them. We just need to go to the hall where there's a boss. So maybe there's like a big shade there. 
I mean, other than that, I think we've got everything. Okay, yeah, the store opens now. Let's get the Dark Fist back. Dark Hand, sorry. Can I offer you a hand? A hand? Do you get it? You're not, like, acknowledging my good, good joke. And I'm starting to feel self-conscious about it, like maybe you didn't get it. Oh wow, that guy's actually pretty strong. Oh, beans. Wow, this is pretty strong. This would be really hard in the first time here. Okay, we got a new word. Great, love it. Simple machine. Is there yet more? Ah, yes, we've got to pick up the temple mail. Whoa! Whoa! Can take this guy out. Save such chatter for a later time. We must I actually think this one is less difficult than the last one we just fought. Calm my ass. The armor is what really makes them hard. Oh, we got Konkar. Magic defense plus 20%. There's so much magic to absorb here. It's a breeze. Okay, I think that's it. The shades inside this temple are far more powerful than I expected. Either way, we're done here. Let's report back to the king. Oh, are you gonna teleport me? I do like when we get to use forbidden teleportation. Thank you for dispatching the shades. Here's a small reward for your work. We got the two-handed sword, Labyrinth Song. That's... man, I don't know if it's just the anime teen inside of me, but I do think this sword is actually pretty cool. It's so much worse than the spear we're currently using that it's hard to justify. I do think that's my favorite sword, though, that we've gotten so far. I haven't really looked at a lot of the other weapons. Wow, Nier, you wield a spear so weird. You just hold it like a sword, and that's so funny. I do, this is kind of a fun little lance. Yeah. I would probably hate this if I saw it in real life. I think it looks like way too ostentatious, but... I don't know, the ones that have faces on them are pretty cool to me. But we're gonna stick with the Phoenix Spear because it's just ludicrously strong. That should about wrap up for Sod, so now we need to get three eggplants and two goat hides. Which should be easy enough, I think. And we can wrap up that last side quest.
Mir left pretty quick. He said he just stopped by so he could see my face. I have nothing to justify this, but it would be pretty interesting if the letters that we get in the second half of the game or on subsequent playthroughs are written by, um, real origin- the OG Yona. The Shadow Lord's sister. That fast travel boat is so silly because it takes me- it would take me as long to walk to that boat as it does to just walk across this desert and back to the village. some lichen. We can chew on that later. So that'll be good. Hey look! Is this two goats? Am I gonna get the goat hide that I need right here right now? Aw, oh, goat meat. I don't even know how to do eat that. I don't know what to do with goat meat. I wouldn't know where to begin. Excuse me, Mr. Bullet. Oh, new cutscene. What is it? So, we can finally save Yona now, huh? It would appear that way. What is it, lad? You have quite the pensive look on your face. Listen, I need your advice. It's about Kaine and Emil. This mm. upcoming fight with the Shadow Lord is going to be rough. And while I'd do anything for Yona, I'm not sure it's fair to drag the two of them into this. Are you truly worried about such a thing now, after all our merry little band has been through? Hey, the fuck's this hot garbage you've been spewing? Someone's been eavesdropping, eh? Kaine, Emil, look, I just... Wanted to leave us behind? Why, so we'd be safe? Fuck that. Kaine's right. You accepted me. You told me we'd be together no matter what happens. Now it's time for us to return the favor. Don't make me start talking about loyalty and debts and all that. You know I hate mushy shit. But... If it makes you feel better, we're not doing it for free. After we rescue Yona, we're totally gonna call in a favor of our own. We're going on a journey to cure Kaine's possession and restore my body. If you listen closely, you can hear the boar snuffling in the background. It's gonna be tons of fun! Just think of all the delicious local Sorry. foods we can try along the way! I'm gonna oh, eat man. way more than my fair share, so you better get ready to pony up. That's extremely sweet and really sad. Thanks, you two. This is the kind of tragedy I actually kind of like in this game. Like, this is sad, but also sweet and feels all kinds We're gonna of ways. Rescue Yuna. This is nice. It. Look at that. What a merry band. I marvel at how relatively simple a task this retrieval process proved to be. It is almost as if someone deliberately set us on this path. You're overthinking again, Vice. But... Uh, I don't care if it's a trap. Yuna's waiting for me and I'm going. I see. Thanks hmm. for volunteering to help with the... Um, yeah, I'm definitely gonna complete that quest. Who here would sell vegetables? Come back with your... You. You saved his... Yes, three eggplants, please. You'd better come back. Excellent. Okay, now we have everything we need. Over the sad piano music. To go back to 
get that last weapon. I think I'm actually going to do that off screen. I'm not going to make you all watch that. I don't think anything interesting is going to happen. If it does, I promise to uh, show you, but I don't think it will. So for now, I'm going to call it an episode here. Next time, we are going to not actually probably finish the second route. I still need to do the um, extra little combat DLC stuff to get those last three weapons there. And then also, I read about this cool seeming sort of secret quest we can actually go do back in the Forest of Myth that isn't a purely text-based thing. It's actually, uh, uh, you'll see. You have to wait till you get all the key fragments and like are right up at the end of the game and then you can go do it. Um, and I'm excited because I've never seen that before and it seems cool. So I will see you then. I think it'll be a good episode. Bye-bye for now.